to continue with the series of tutorial demonstration about using the Wuxian KG UV 920 piece remote control functions I will be discussing for part 6 of the series changing the transmitting power for this demonstration I will be using a Baofeng UV5R as an HT or SRHT controller As an overview, and uh, so that you will have a bigger picture of the flow of instructions, allow me to show to you here the uh, flowchart guide that I have prepared. So there are three uh, functions which you can control remotely on the KGUV920P. I have labeled here first is Remote Stun, Kill, Monitoring, and Inspection which unfortunately will not be covered in the series because I only have one KG UV 920P with me and for the second uh, function which you can control remotely there's remote power off or power on which I have covered in uh, part 2 of the series and then third there is remote uh, changing of transceiver settings there are six settings which you can change remotely on the KGUV920P. You can change the frequency, the channel number, the repeater mode, the transmitting power, the RXCTS tone, and the RXDCS tone. For this particular video, I will be uh, focusing on changing the transi transmitting power. So this would be procedure 3D. Okay, now let's power on our dual bander here. So right now, the radio is in channel mode. There is channel 22 on side A and there is channel 11 on side B. I can shift sides using button 1 of the SP mic. So from side B to side A, using button 1, like so, and back to side B, using same button. Okay, I can also shift or change to frequency mode from channel mode, using button 6. Okay, frequency mode. like so, or back to channel, channel mode. mode using the same button. Channel, mode, channel, mode. Okay, now for purpose of uniformity, we will be setting our KGUV920P in such a way that the master frequency display icon is on side B and we will be using a, an operating frequency of frequency, mode. A an operating frequency of 155.180 so we have to set our radio this way so you could go along with the tutorial demonstration now this operating frequency of 155.180 will be the same frequency that we will dial in on the HD controller in this case a Baofeng UV5R as you can see here, it's 155.180. Alright. Notice also that both sides are using high power level. This would be the default power level that I have programmed on the radio. Now, when we have this kind of setup, we can then proceed to procedure A. So procedure A is about activating the remote control feature of the uh, KGUV920P, the so-called RCSW feature. So to do procedure A, we hold the min we hold the, the SP mic and then key in menu. Come on, menu 44, menu on and menu. Okay? So let's try it right now. Hold the SP mic. 
So this menu four four. So you can see that it's RCSW, and then press menu again to enter selection, and then from the selection you you choose on. So using the up button, you choose on, and then menu again to confirm. Now the KG UV 920P would reboot this time with both VFOs or sides locked as you can see here indicated by the locked icon. From this point we would leave the uh, SP mic of the KG UV 920P so we we'll set it aside because for the succeeding procedures we will be using our HD controller. Okay, so here's the situation. What if we would like to change from high power level to say a low power level? So from the chart, you can see here 3D changing transmitting power would use the code 04 plus the matching power code. The matching power code for the transmitting power is very easy to memorize. For purposes of presentation, I have written it here on a piece of paper and it says that the transmitting power code for low power is 1. Code 1, middle power is code 2, high power is code 3. So this will be the matching power code that we will be using for procedure 3D. Okay. Now going back to our to what we would like to accomplish so from high power to low power we do what zero four and one as the matching power code but you do this only after you have done procedure B here so in other words for every setting that you would like to change remotely you must first do procedure B. Procedure B is very easy to do. So, so you simply hold the PTT of the RC of the HD controller and then key and one two three pound menu down and then release the PTT. There would be a beep heard on the HD controller. Then within 30 seconds, so there's that 30 second timeout, you have to press 04 in the matching power code for power for low power which is 1 so 041 so you hold the PTT again of the AC controller you use 041 and then release the PTT let's try it right now okay so hold the PTT so do procedure B first hold PTT key in 1 2 3 pound menu down release there's that beep confirmation and within 30 seconds you do what 04 as the code for changing the transmitting power and then 1 as the matching power code which is for low power release the PTT there's also there's again that beep confirmation and this time the KG UV 920p shifted to low power. In changing the transmitting power, the KG UV 920P will not reboot as opposed to other uh, settings that I have presented in the video. It is also important to note that uh, the newly uh, keyed in or newly keyed in power level, transmitting power level would take effect on both VFOs or both sides. So since we have opt to change it to low power from high power, then after a successful attempt, both sides will have low power and not only the secondary VFO or only the master or master frequency so both VFOs or, or both sides will have the same power level okay now to 
go back to the previous or original power level of the of both sides you could uh, power off the unit and then on the sec next power on it will have the same power level which is high power level okay, of course you can also do uh, remote power off or power on so let's say from high you go back to low and then we do remote power off so let's try it so one two three pound menu down there's that beep confirmation and then you do zero four and then one see there's that beep confirmation again and in the background I don't know if you've noticed it, it shifted to low power level from high power level then to go back to uh, original to the original uh, power level of both VFOs you can also do remote power off or power on so from part 2 of the series so remote power off or power on can be done with the following by doing the following procedures you do you hold the PTT and then press 6 5 4 uh, 3 2 1 up up 1 0 1 pound key and the KG UV 920p has been powered off remotely and then you to power it on again you have to uh, do the same procedure so that's hold the PTT and do six five four three two one B B or up up one zero one pound key and then release you would see that on reboot the KG UV 920p now retains the original transmitting power which is high power now what what if we would like to change from high power to middle power so we do you hold the HD controller again you press the PTT and then key in one two three pound menu down release the PTT and then within 30 seconds you pre press and hold the PTT again and then you do zero four and then 2 matching power code for middle power is 2 and there you have it it's now on middle power to go from middle power to low power you do PTT 1 2 so after an, an unsuccessful attempt you press PTT you hold PTT and then press 9 9 and then repeat procedure once again so PTT one two three pound menu down release it within 30 seconds you do zero four and then one and now you are on low power so from low power to high power you do have to press PTT hold PTT I mean press or key in one two three pound menu now if there's no beep you have to do the uh, termination of a remote control selection by doing this you hold the PTT and press 99 there's that beep and then you have to repeat procedure B again so that's hold PTT one two three pound menu down and then go to high power so that's hold PTT zero four and then three as the matching power code for high power there you have it there's that high power so basically that's how you do 
changing of transmitting power on the KGUV 920P. So remote changing using Baofeng UV5R SR HT controller or the remote controller. So there you have it. I hope that helps. Kind regards from the Philippines and maraming salamat po.